we in the West live in a, a privileged context where we go to school and we think we have all the opportunities in the world. But imagine that 90% of the world doesn't even have the opportunity to make it to their fifth birthday. And many of those children um, die within the first year of life or die within the first month of life or are never born. So in terms of burdens uh, on populations, preterm birth, um, neonatal deaths probably constitutes uh, almost half of the deaths that we see in children less than five years of age. We focus on a very important infection in the world, uh, malaria, um, and in and of itself, uh, it puts about 125 million women who are pregnant at risk every year. They're at greatly increased risk of having a preterm birth or premature birth. They're greatly at risk of de uh, delivering a baby that's low birth weight, and that unfortunately is is like having two strikes against you before you have your first breath. You're much more likely to die in the first year of life. The other interesting thing about malaria is it's a very good model for how, um, how and why adverse birth outcomes might occur anywhere. I mean, United States or Europe or Canada, women, for reasons that aren't always clear, sometimes will develop uh, preterm birth um, or they'll get diseases like preeclampsia that we don't understand very well. Malaria in and of itself is a huge global problem. About 300 million people get malaria every year. As I said, 125 million pregnancies are at risk of their, their mums getting malaria. Um, so in and of itself, it's a really noble and important thing to understand. And it's interesting that um, preterm birth, like many of the major problems around the world, are incredibly neglected. We're, they're neglected in terms of our understanding, they're neglected in terms of our ability to identify people at risk, and they're neglected in terms of practical solutions. Why is that? You know, in, in a world where we need to be more equitable, this is the kind of thing we need to prioritize. So I hope we understand more about how this happens, but even more than that, I hope we can come up with practical interventions. The chance for those children to be born, to develop and grow and contribute to their own solutions, you know, it, it's pivotal to human equity. I guess the two pivotal things that we would like to try and contribute to are, is one, the ability to identify what we're calling, you know, uh, birth panel biomarkers and determine whether that pregnancy was at low risk and therefore could be handled in the community or that it was a high risk pregnancy. And then hopefully to be able to find an intervention, a simple intervention. We don't like to treat symptoms in medicine, we like to treat root causes. So what underneath um, that process is actually causing that birth to come early. We live in a world of technology and we're frequently seduced by technologies and sometimes what we really need are more practical solutions. We don't always need to use cutting edge technologies to save large numbers of lives and um, focusing on human needs, health needs and priorities like preterm labor can use relatively modest resources and have incredible impact. And so I think that's, that's one of the most attractive components of this initiative to me.